Hello and welcome to the Heat Signature Daily Challenge. It is the 24th of December, Christmas Eve, and an easy Sunday. Today we are bringing in three foundry officers while avoiding alarms as much as possible. We are weak, no bashing. We are X Glitcher, which could be relevant. We got a visitor over there. As well as a quiet quick fire concussive shotgun. Very nice weapon to have. Um. Would be slightly better being silent for avoiding alarms, but it's eh, still pretty good. Uh, we got still shield, also great for avoiding alarms, and let's go. All right, we got guards and bosses. Guards with just guns, bosses with wrenches that we can't use, and keys and. Heat sensors, 40 seconds, and non-lethal required. No, oh, I'm gonna have to actually dock this time with my scuffed setup of sitting on a bed. Um, yesterday I could just use the glitch tick. Nope, nope, okay. Entered Void Mother's Domain a little bit. That's, that's gonna be fun. Three second bong. Huh. Okay, all right, that's a good, it's a pretty good range. If we didn't have to capture you, that would be pretty great. If this is just a kill mission, you just walk in, take you out, take you out. Um, but it is not one of those. We got an easy key right here, and that's the only key we need does make this crate tempting. Let's see. I'm thinking of some weird play of like go down here shoot to get you to start walking up here visit to take you out and then wait get brought back and then while you're coming up here we walk down here and get the crate does that make any sense to do to do that we'd want to grab this key first anyway so might as well do that otherwise we have to walk down here shoot you and then drag you over here and then get the pod in place and that's a little annoying I think I'm gonna try it I'm not sure if it's like if it's optimal Walk over here, give off a shot. Visit over here, and toss this at you while we hide around a corner so we don't have to worry about getting shot. We are just avoiding limbs, all right. It's tempting to go for shooting you right now. Oh, uh huh, you just started setting up. Normally you would just walk along with them, I thought. That's weird. Alright, now while they're responding, I walk down here. Don't care about alarms now, so I can just shoot you guys. Ooh, nice. Take a quiet gun. A second visitor. I could have used that on this ship. 
so I'm not sure how much it would have helped. Um, but that's very great for uh, future ships. Oh, we also got another visitor pack. Um, I could try and do a silly visitor play, but I think it's more worth it to just let you walk over here. And then we walk behind you and give you a nice shot up here. A uh, grenade launcher. Hmm. It's timed and it's lethal, which and it's loud, which makes it a uh, difficult use viability. But all right. And then we return to pod. First 17 seconds. I don't know how long other strats would have taken for that one. Alright, we got shotguns everywhere. Light reinforcements, non lethal. Okay. Try to not enter the Void Mother's Domain this time. Ooh, almost perfect. Got early three seconds though, I'll take that. Are we still Void Mothered? This feels slightly Void Mothered. Um, so we could go up here. We could do a visit visit. Oh, it's a little too short. Still might be worth it. Uh, if we can reach here, actually. this group. Let's see, I might... Do I need another gun? Nah, no, these are probably fine. Alright, this will this will probably work. Start off with a visit. And then we want to come back to this point as soon as possible, so we'll immediately visit down here. And then shotgun the both of you. And shoot the one of you. We don't care about kills. Got a crash pin, that's very handy. Shotguns are always nice. Pick up the key and then we get this script. And then we can wait. Oh, a side sheesh. Alright then. Gotta wait back here anyways. In theory maybe we could have done that, like a sidewind, sidewind. If we had just a little bit more space, we might have been able to take you out. Um, but alright, so we'll need this key. Then once we do that, we can sidewind. Um, I want you to stop walking, so I'm going to throw a thing. Or you can just ignore it. That works too. Should have picked up one of those shotguns. Whoops. Alright, we'll shotgun you. 
shotgun you and then pick up one of yours. To take out you. Which maybe is a mistake. Something that I did there was a mistake because I really want that key. Jeez, that is such a long range. And we can go up here. I guess I could have ignored you, gone over here and taken out the pilot. That's probably what I should have done. Oh well, it's just a fraction of a second. Alright, this window's probably the closest way out. So we'll teleport behind you. Nothing personnel kit. Swap over to quiet. Or most importantly, concussive gun. And then we've got two things. Don't want to get shot. Don't want the alarm to go off. So take care of not getting shot first. Pick up your gun in a second. Ooh, emergency shield. That, that's actually relevant for this precise moment. Alright, and then I can pick up gun. Disable the alarm. One of you will take care of one of the others. First, yeah, might as well use Sidewinder to get down this way. Hey, you got them both. Okay, and uh, you had a Sidewinder. Sheesh. Okay, we got a lot of equipment. It's going to be hard to choose what to take on ship three. All right. Shoot out the window. Stash a couple more shotguns, because why not? Caught me, caught them, and off we go. Okay, will we be able to fit everything that we want here? Okay, it's just extra guns. It's just extra guns. That's the only decision we need to make. So emergency shield, pretty good, especially if we can disable the alarm. We've got heat sensors, which are concerning, and armor, which we can't actually deal with easily. Light reinforcement, series guard kit, non lethal weapon. Um, with the teleporters that we have, it's very likely that we can at least disable the alarms. An extra gun is not going to help us all that much. Because we can't use them to disable the alarms thanks to the armored guards. So I think I'll not bring any of the extra guns. Just bring these. I could have used a stealth shield at the end of the last one. Oh well. Alright. Let's take a look at the ship. Yeah, that's right, it's easy Sunday, so it's still pretty small. This looks like a pretty simple... Oh, I do need to remember, it's an easy Sunday, so we cannot use the visitor to get out of the ship, it'll pull us back in. That said, it still might be worth it to use double visitor. We'll see what it looks like. Ah, oh, 
close. Close to two seconds. Alright, so extreme range. Jesus, that is so. That is so big. Alright, so if we don't use visitors, we have to, like, walk down here, get the key, then go here, then go here, then go here, then go here, and then get you out. Visitor, we could go here. Yeah, we'd still need the key. Visitors might not be worth it. It's looking like we can either smack you this way or smack you this way. This way is a little bit longer, but might be easier because we don't have to worry about this block getting in the way. Mm, I do wish I had a second shotgun now. Oh well. I think we want to go down here. In which case, so yeah, we can go down here, do one, two, three, four, no, that's. That almost works. We can walk down here, shoot you, one, two, three, four. And disable the alarm before it goes off. Okay, that's our plan. Do we have a grenade launcher? That doesn't help us. Hello. I'm here to shoot your friend. Pay me no mind. As we go, one. Man, it feels like such a waste of the Sidewinder to have all of this and then just use it to go a little blip. Sidewinder's done. Might as well throw it. Uh, might as well. S nope, I just double clicked somehow there. Might as well emergency shield and stealth shield. And then I think we want to sidewind here. Not entirely sure about that. That, if that's optimal. And wait for reload. And give you a nice shot. I'll go ahead and pick up this gun, shoot you in case you have something. shoot you and shoot you so that you aren't bothering me for just a second. And down we go. Okay, now while I'm walking this way, I'm pretty well protected. And get the pod moving. If this was a, if this was not a challenge or an easy Saturday, Sunday, if it was not an easy Sunday, and we could use the visitors, this would go even faster. It's wild. All right, cut us both, and off we go. All right, ten seconds. Oh uh, yeah, I'm curious about how well my ship won was especially. And how well that compares. 
All right. 598 and. Okay, 7-2 beat me by a fair amount. See, I'm guessing ship one, the ship one was fairly different. That would be my guess. And going that fast most likely got the Sidewinder on ship two. Yeah, ship one is the one that I'm least confident about. I liked my plan for it, but I don't know if it was the best one. But it was kind of neat. Get the target to come to you while you go and off and do looting. But we only ended up using that second visitor like once, I think. And that was helpful, but probably not as helpful as it took to get through the whole thing. Uh, as it took to actually get it in the first place. Um, so yeah, very nice job, 7-2, taking quite a lead. And then yeah, some of my potting could have been a little bit better, but I'm guessing most of that was ship one. Is my guess. I don't remember if there's any crates that I missed. Um, yeah, let's look at yesterday's. Yesterday, 7-2 came in first with a 495 with 28 seconds. Very nice job taking the lead by a solid amount. Uh, we have me coming in second, Lee Spork in third, Razdal Baxter in fourth, and MCC900 in fifth place. Uh, I think I've seen you up here before. I think I have. I think it may have been a second. But if not, welcome to the top five. And good job, everybody, on the top five placements. Very nice job. And with that, that is all for today's daily challenge. Thank you for watching. And I hope to see you tomorrow.